okay example 1.16 is typically a 6 mark sum right so they have given you 2 2 cross 2 matrices and you have to verify that AB inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse so to find the inverse we have a formula right so I will just note down the formula here for us to refer it is 1 by mod A into a joint of Okay, let's get started. So before we find A inverse, we have to ensure that mod of A and B is not equal to 0. This is because if it becomes 0, then you cannot find the A inverse because it will become 1 by 0, right? And that will become infinity. So you cannot find A inverse. So for that reason, first ensure that mod A and mod B is not equal to 0. So what is mod A? This into this minus this into this. So 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. Good, it's not 0. Likewise, what is the value of mod B? Mod B is this into this minus this into this. So it is 0 minus of minus 1. So it becomes 1. Good, this is also not equal to 0. So we are good enough to proceed to find the inverse. Okay, so shall we first do the left hand side? So first we will multiply A into B. So A B is equal to so how do you do matrix multiplication? This into this plus this into this, right? So 1 into 0, which is 0, plus 2 into 1, which is 2. Okay. Then to find the next element, it is 1 into minus 1, which is minus 1 plus 2 into 2 so minus 1 plus 4 which becomes plus 3 okay then for the, we go to the next row 1 into 0 which is 0 plus 1 into 1 which is 1 again for the next element 1 into minus 1 which is minus 1 plus 1 into 2 minus 1 plus 2 is again plus 1 so this is AB. Now to find AB inverse, right? Inverse, the formula is 1 by mod AB into adjoint of AB, right? So shall we find out mod AB? Mod of AB is equal to this into this minus this into this. So which is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1 right so since mod ab is not minus 1 we can proceed to find adjoint of a i am sorry ab inverse so to find adjoint of ab let's first write the cofactors so the cofactor of 2 is 1 cofactor of 3 you hide the corresponding row and column of 3 you get 1 again cofactor of 1 is 3 and cofactor of this one here is 2 and as I always say the signs you have to ensure that the diagonally opposite elements have the same sign right positive positive and make these two as negative now you transpose this you will get the adjoint of A so it becomes 1 minus 1 minus 3 2 what is transpose of a matrix row becomes column column becomes row so a b inverse is nothing but 1 by mod a that is mod a we saw it was minus 1 into adjoint of a b so change the sign of because we are dividing by minus 1 change the sign of the adjoint a b matrix minus 1 plus 3 plus 1 and minus 2 so this is AB inverse right minus 1 3 1 minus 2 good so now we will proceed with the right hand side B inverse into A inverse ok so right hand side so let's first find out B inverse so let's find out B inverse first. Okay. 
what is b matrix 0 minus 1 1 2 i will write it down here again minus 1 1 2 this is matrix b right so find the adjoint of this matrix We are going to find the adjoint of matrix P. So, the cofactor of 0 is 2, cofactor of minus 1 is 1, cofactor of 1 is minus 1, and cofactor of 2 is 0. Okay? And we will inverse the signs. These two will be positive, and this two will become negative. So, since it is already minus 1 here, it becomes plus 1. And you take the transpose of this, row becomes column, column becomes row, right, this is transpose of this, this is, therefore this is adjoint of B, okay, and B inverse will be 1 by mod B adjoint of B, right, we already saw that mod B's value was 1, therefore B inverse will be the same as adjoint of B. 2, 1, minus 1, 0. Likewise, let us find adjoint of <coughs> A inverse. So, to find adjoint of A first, let us first do the cofactors. Right? The cofactor of this one is going to be 1. Cofactor of 2 is again going to be 1. Cofactor of this one here will be 2. So, factor of this one here will be 1. Now, you put the signs. This will be positive and these two will be negative. Now, take a transpose of this. It will become 1 minus 1 minus 2, 1. We already saw that mod A was minus 1. Therefore, A inverse is equal to 1 by mod A into adjoint of A. So, change the signs of adjoint of A. So, plus 1 becomes minus 1, minus 1 becomes plus 2, here minus 1 becomes plus 1, and plus 1 here is minus 1. So, you found out A inverse and B inverse. Now, you have to multiply this, right? B inverse into A inverse. What is B inverse into A inverse? Can we multiply these two matrices quickly? So, 2 into minus 1 plus 1 into 1. That is minus 2 into minus 1 plus 1 into 1. That is minus 2 plus 1, you get minus 1. Likewise, for the next element, 1, 2 into 2, 4 plus 1 into minus 1. So, 4 minus 1, you get 3. Then, minus 1, we go to the next row. Minus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into 1. So, we get... 1 right and then 0 into minus 1 into 2 plus 0 into minus 1 so minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 and next it's anyway 0 so we will write it as minus 2 here so this is what is b inverse into a inverse you got minus 1 3 1 minus 2 so is this the same as a b inverse yes it is minus 1 3 1 minus 2 so this is equal to left hand side so hence we have verified right hand side is equal to the left hand side hence the result is verified so it's a very very simple six mark sum all you have to do is be very careful about you know the signs alone when you find the adjoint so if you get that right i think there's no way you can make a mistake in this sum so don't miss it when it comes for six marks and if you have any doubt in finding the cofactors refer to the video for example 1.11 and example 1.13